just 139 kilometers to go as the riders enter the final stage of the Ross from Coot Hill to Skerries. Nicola Baldo is the man they have to catch. Baldo from the Swiss Atlas team in yellow has a 13 seconds lead to protect. What will this strategy be for you today? Just to sit in there and watch the movers perhaps? I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, really strange uh, the way the the race is going. So, so uh, I don't know what uh, will happen. It can be uh, plenty of attacks uh, immediately or it can be steady. Uh, Till a long time, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see during the race. Yeah. Gedeminas Bagdonas, looking to be the first man since Paul McCormick in 1988 to retain the Ross title, was 33 seconds adrift. So it wasn't looking good for him and the unpossed Sean Kelly team. Uh, hopefully, it'll be another bunch sprint. I hope. Well, I hope personally for me, but also for Getty, like the two of us are pretty fast. So hopefully, we could get a, a one-two today and take back the uh, points jersey. Today's final stage, a 139 kilometers route to Skerries, is relatively flat with three small climbs. On the approach to Slane, where St. Patrick lit the flame that brought a force of Christianity to Ireland, will it be enough to inspire the men of the Ross into Skerries for the final two laps of this magnificent race as it comes to a finish on its 60th anniversary? And approaching Slane, a break of seven riders, including Irish duo Sean Downey of Unpost Sean Kelly and Robin Kelly of Carlo Dan Morrissey held a one minute 45 seconds lead on the main pack, which included the yellow jersey of Nicola Baldo. With Kelly dropped on the run into Skerries, the remaining six pressed on and entering the circuit for the first time maintained a lead of 41 seconds. The testing ascent of Category 3 Black Hills took its toll on the breakaway leaving Sean Downey, Christopher Jennings, Lars Verbergen and Christopher Stevenson holding a dwindling 21 second lead over the chasing field. Sensing a sprint finish, the team of unpushed Sean Kelly and Node 4 drove the head of the race into Skerries. With Gediminas Bagdonis taking his second stage of the week ahead of teammate Sam Bennett and Marcin Biola Blocky. Nicola Baldo of Swiss Atlas finished in the main bunch to retain his 13 seconds advantage and the outright winner of the 2012 Ross. Well, Nicola, congratulations. Uh, the winner takes it all. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I said uh, this morning uh, we'll have the answer today and uh, to the evening, and uh, now it's done, so it's, uh, I'm relieved. What does it feel like now that you're uh, officially crowned uh, the winner of the 2012 Ross? It's a big honor because uh, it's a race with a lot of history. Many, many strong riders uh, have won. And uh, yeah, it's uh, beautiful to have uh, his name written uh, on, uh, on the trophy. Nice day. Not too much wind. Just sitting in a group and waiting for bone sprint. Yeah, today is down in breakaway. It's perfect for me, situation. Just need in the city group and it's perfect. And later, all team helped me and Sam. <laughs> and today finish first and second. Well Dermot it all ends here in Skerry today but it's been a fantastic eight days. It has been a great eight days racing all together and there are tremendous crowds every inch of the, the road for the past eight days and people have turned out to, to cheer on the cyclists which I can tell you is very much appreciated and a fantastic finish to this year's on post Ross here in Skerry with a tremendous crowd all together. So after eight days of hard racing we have a new Ross champion. <laughs>